Hello. 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 My name is Paige Peter and I'm calling from Princey Plus Conkinay. Yeah, I've been informed that you were... Spam. Today is day two of Nations Cup for England Netball. We're going down to the Birmingham Arena in the next 25 minutes or so. Um, and it got me thinking of like a few essentials that I kind of carry with me all the time in the kit bag that just help me do my job a bit better um, as a sports photographer. And you're gonna kind of be thinking right now, oh, he means certain lenses and camera bodies and stuff. And it's kind of not, it's a little bit more specific than that, but it's stuff that really, really helps me as a photographer working in things like netball and triathlon and running and cycling and all that kind of jazz. So kind of the first thing I would say, that's like a big, big thing for me, double battery chargers. So everyone gets a battery charger with their camera and stuff, which is great, but Actually, if you're working on a um, like a couple of days back to back, or you've got one shoot with one sport and then another shoot with another sport like the, the next day, if you're churning through batteries, like having two of these massively helps. But like this has been an absolute godsend. It makes my kind of like post shoot workflow super quick. It means I can get batteries and stuff recharged nice and quickly. I can then focus on getting like all my images and stuff sorted. I cannot tell you the amount of times that I've been away um, on like a World Series race with triathlon or something and I've been running on one battery charger and I've had to then make the decision of like, how many batteries can I take out the next day because I've not got enough charge. So two battery chargers, a must. Um, I would also highly recommend painkillers. So I have a section of the case which is basically full of tablets. I've got sleeping tablets, I've got anti-sickness tablets, I've got painkillers, got, I've got anti-inflammatories. Like, you do not know how much sometimes you can be working in a big arena and it's dead noisy and you haven't drunk enough and you haven't eaten enough and even when you do fix those things, you still have a really bad headache or you get shoulder ache or you get back ache or you're away for a few days and you eat some dodgy food and your stomach's not quite right or you just can't settle on a plane. Like all of those things like can really, really hamper you. So painkillers, absolute must. I would also say that one of these um, is essential. It's, I carry one all the time. I've started carrying a different one this year in 2020 because, well, I'll explain that in a minute. But if you don't know what this is, this is a buff. So what a buff is, is basically a tubular thing and you can do all sorts of things with it. You can turn it into a beanie, you can wrap it around your wrist as a sweatband, you can make bandanas and stuff out of this. They're really, really cool. And they're not that expensive in reality. So I will often carry one on my wrist. They're great for cleaning lenses when you need to. They're great for kind of just having as a sweatband. It's good occasionally when you're in cold weather to like pop them around your neck so they keep your neck warm, nice and warm, all that kind of stuff. I have a gray one because it helps me white balance stuff. Sometimes when you're working like big arenas, big sports halls and things like that, especially when I'm working with netball, like the lines just, and a really good way to kind of correct that rather than relying on like the preset white balances in the camera is to set this as like a custom white balance. I've done it a couple of times now uh, this season and it massively, massively helps. If you don't know how to set a custom white balance, YouTube, great. And um, I would also say that carrying one of these is also really helpful. So I blagged this early in the year uh, from um, uh, an event. I'm not going to say which one, because I get in trouble. But it's a media bib. So it's a very plain and simple, not much on, 
but it's a media bib. Like, there are times when I don't get given media bibs for stuff because we don't need it, or because, or when I feel like I need to have some kind of bib just to kind of point out like who I am, what I'm doing, and makes it look a bit more official. If you've got an extra one, and you can buy them online, you can get them on eBay and stuff. Like, my first ever media bib I got from eBay, and it, I had photographer printed on the back. Like, it's not about you selling yourself as so much, it's about just making people at the event that you're working on, that sport that you're working at, who you are and what you do. Like, that's why for the pros, when we go to big games, you know, big competitions, big events, that's why we get a given media bib, so that we can be identified really quickly that we're there for a reason to do a job. So if you've got your own, just in case, massively helps. I would say also, this thing's been a godsend. Yeah. To harness. So if you're like me and you shoot on two cameras at a time, um, I spent a lot of last year working on uh, just standard camera straps and keep one on each shoulder. There's plenty of pictures online of me just with regular camera straps and stuff. But the problem is, as the year went on, like my shoulder, I have a lot of problems with my shoulder anyway, but like just constantly like doing this and like adjusting myself was really, really hard. So I invested at the end of last year in a harness uh, to keep all the load nice and square on my back and my shoulders. Um, it's nice and secure. It just means that I'm not kind of like getting to the end of the day and everything hurts. Like I've noticed a massive difference. So the first day I shot um, of the Nations Cup on Sunday, just gone, I shot on this all day. Didn't really have backache or shoulder ache at the end of the day. And that for me is a huge thing. So like, if you can invest in decent camera straps or a decent harness, that's a must. Actually, I will go back to one more thing. One thing that if you're in those big arenas or you're in those big venues, they're loud, they're really, really, really loud. So to kind of stave off the, oh, let's get some paracetamol and take the headache away. Like if you preempt that with earplugs, um, that makes a huge difference. Like it makes a massive, massive difference. And people often look at me a bit weird when I'm pulling them in and out after I've come in and out of an arena or something like that, or you know, off of the start line or finish line for try. But for me, it makes a huge, huge difference. So I invested in these. They're like a quid from Asda and stuff. Like they're not very expensive. Like I get them in flight packs sometimes when you go on long haul planes. So like save them because they make a massive difference. Just bang them in your ears and like you will see the huge difference in the quality of like your hearing once you then take them out and step away from that loud event. Huge, huge plus. Okay, I have 15 minutes now in order to kind of get out the door, get packed. Get out the door and pack, get packed and then get out the door um, and head off down to Birmingham. Oh, I need to go.